very often the diagnosis of, um, of sinusitis is misleading and very frustrating to patients who wonder why they have various symptoms that are considered sinus problems but don't seem to respond to the treatments. And so what I've um, spent, frankly, most of my career is, is looking into rhinology, sinus problems, endoscopic sinus surgery, and developed a, a mechanism to analyze the symptoms, ensure that they're really part of the disease, look at the physical exam, look at the CT, look at the imaging, and then come up with a plan that doesn't always include surgery, in fact. Frankly, most of the time people are better off you know, making sure that they've tried all the medical management options before surgery. But when it does come to surgery, um, uh, most 90 plus percent, more than that actually, do better. And I think that's, to me, a mark of applying correct surgical procedures at the right moment for a disease after ensuring that that's what the problem is. I started in my career when endoscopic sinus surgery was just starting to be put in place. Prior to that, it was sort of almost blind type surgery without endoscopes. And since then, there have been technical advancements, one of which is the computer guided uh, imaging. At the time of surgery, real time, while you're uh, operating, you have an exact idea of where your instruments are. It does allow you to be more effective and complete in uh, resections. Um, and then I think for some cases, uh, revision cases or difficult polyp cases, it's, it's essential. The Everett Clinic, um, frankly, has been very good about staying on the forefront of technologies that are safer and more effective. But we also have uh, such integrated capabilities within the building that we can have the patient walk right upstairs um, and get a CT within 15 or 20 minutes, come back down and finish that evaluation. So it's very convenient for the patient. We also have access to the referring doctor's records through our electronic medical record. So I really have a good idea of what uh, the patient's problems are when they come in. After deciding whether or not the patient needs surgery, if they do in fact need surgery, then we have an outstanding outpatient surgical facility, which is really um, the equal to any um, hospital-based operating room with anesthesiologists, uh, very uh, well-trained and highly professional nurses. Would I op have a surgery there or would I have my family member um, operated there? Uh, I say yes, I would and, and yes, I have. So um, both of those things, I have no reservations about recommending uh, the surgery center or the Everett Clinic, frankly.